This originally, well, back in the 60s, was called the Boat Yard, Dillo Boat Yard. Because my father came over from Ireland and he uh, stopped in Newfoundland on his way back to Ireland and he uh, was asked to run a mink ranch for a fellow on the mainland. So he ran the mink, mink ranch and started up his own mink ranch and that business went out. So then he built a boat to go fishing and someone bought that boat and he ended up building another boat to go fishing and someone bought that and eventually he started up a boat building business right here at uh, Dilla Boat Yard. And uh, in fact, that boat that's right there at the wharf, there is the last boat that was built in this building. Uh, myself and my father built that boat, and that's the boat we use for tour, touring right now. And so uh, when the moratorium struck, uh, the boat building business went down, so he went back at Fox Farming and uh, he was selling the property and I said, well, I'd buy it. So I bought it off of him and just held it. And up to about five years ago, uh, we, I just rented it out and stuff like that. But uh, then we decided to do what we're doing now. And we have an uh, inn here and a restaurant and boat tour operation. A place they've never seen The exchange to hills of Newfoundland For the ones they left behind a little bit about our boat tour. Uh, we leave here and uh, the tour takes about two hours. We go to Spread Eagle. We have the eagles kind of trained now, so we throw out a uh, frozen herring or something, a bait for them, and they come down, pick it up, and take it up and feed the babies, and all the tourists like that. And uh, then, of course, we leave, we do a tour in along the coast. They're showing the different. Uh, uh, things that uh, stick out for tourists along the Spread Eagle Coast and then we go around Dildo Island and we go down and we go underneath the Dildo sign so people get their picture and we're back here and uh, it takes about two hours but uh, this summer we're going to be introducing some uh, picnic tours on the island and uh, and we'll be doing uh, hiking tours on the island in partnership with uh, Andrew Pretty and Dildo uh, I'll be bringing people out and we'll uh, tender with his boat into the beach and then there'll be a guided tour on the island and a cook up when the uh, tour is finished. There's a lot of interest in that so hopefully that'll work out good for us too. Hi, I'm Paula McIntaggart and I run the inn and the restaurant at the Dildo Boathouse. Um, today we're here at our restaurant and uh, we have uh, three places to eat in the restaurant. You can either eat in the air conditioned inside or our enclosed patio or out in our garden as we call it. We sell uh, local fish and uh, everything mostly homemade. Uh, the bread we get from the local bakeries and uh, we try to use no processed meats and we try to do uh, gluten-free options for people if they want that as well. Um, we sell local beer on tap and uh, we sell local beer by the bottle as well. And now I'll show you the inn. This is our king suite. We have two of these. Uh, they're extra large rooms. Uh, we have a soaker tub right here that overlooks the bay. You can uh, have a glass of wine and look at the boat tour coming in or going out or have just an R&R &R day or evening. Uh, we also have a uh, wall fireplace in this room and a smart TV. This is our family room or we call it the girls night out room also. Uh, it features a, a freestanding double bed and a bunk bed with a double and a single on top. Uh, its view is really beautiful. It actually looks over dildo and it also features a smart TV and a mini fridge. These are our queen suites. We have three of those. Uh, what happens with these? We have continental breakfast for your pleasure and we ha also have a smart TV and um, mini fridge, a coffee uh, percolator and we also have air conditioning in each room, controlled individually. And there's also side lights, so if you want to read or someone don't want to read, you can uh, control them independently. Each room has uh, 
homemade features in regards of our floating uh, shelves and the art is all hand done and the beds are hand done actually by another provider from uh, Paradise. This winter I built a bunch of uh, live edge furniture for the guests to be sit out by the water's edge and up by some fire pits up there and the swing up there and stuff like that so the, the guests can enjoy a night here and relax and all the fire pits got a cooking grate on them and everything so they can have a wiener roast or cook a hamburger or do what they want to do. Why don't you plan a stay and come and uh, have a boat tour with us and a uh, nice meal. We're located at Route 80 uh, in 23 Broad Cove in Dildo.